Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. I want to start out the video today and capture these beautiful butterflies. This was a beautiful fall day here in Alabama and I could not resist videoing these beautiful butterflies that were still enjoying um, my little leftover zinnias. My zinnias are about to go away but the butterflies were taking advantage of their beauty still and I thought these butterflies right here were absolutely beautiful and they are so appropriate for the fall season. The first project we're going to work on today is going to be a mannequin. And I told y'all in a couple of videos ago that I'm going to go very simple and stress-free this Christmas season. And I'm just taking things that I have thrifted or got at yard sales or maybe things that I've had around my home. I'm just going to refresh those and I'm going to try to stay out of the stores and buy new stuff. I picked up this mannequin at a yard sale back in the summertime and I only paid $2 for it. This is a pretty tall one and I love her shape and I love, you know, the gold on it, but I did not like the red. Y'all know I, I decorate a lot in a lot of neutral colors, so I'm going to give her a little upcycle. The first thing I did was I removed that little fur and then I removed the lace um, skirt that she had. And I'm just going to go with some coffee stained flower sack cloth. This is just like a muslin type fabric, but I'm going to use this little smooth hemmed edge. And I'm just going to apply, I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and to apply this. But I'm going to use that smooth edge as my advantage. And so I'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to tack it. And I'm going to go along that little seam line of where she had that fur. There's some glue buildup that I couldn't get off, but that's okay. We'll cover that up. I'm just going to continue to go around the top until I get the two top ends to meet. And once they do, then we've got the top um, fixed. And then once I got to the arms, I just kind of trimmed them down. I just kind of trimmed around and got some excess fabric off. And then I'm going to fold up the edges around the arms just to give them a smooth edge. Once I get them the way I want them, then I'm just going to use some hot glue and then tack those around and go around each arm. And this, like I say, this fabric right here was very uh, user friendly to work with because it had enough stretch to it that it worked out really good and it would smooth out really well. Now, once I got both the arms done and I got, got up under this one, I just tacked it down with some glue. Now the arms are done. Now I just need to go and I need to start working on the body. Now I want to smooth this out as much as I can. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of hot glue right there in the front, kind of pull it down, try to get as much of the wrinkles out as I can. And then I'm going to pull it on the side really good. And then I'm going to apply a little hot glue and then I'm going to pull it really tight and glue it down and tack it. And that will be on the back side. Now, when I got down to the bottom, I had it smoothed out pretty good. So around the bottom, I'm just going to go around. I'm going to remove some of the excess fabric once I get done. But I'm just going to apply some hot glue, and I'm just going to glue that fabric up around the bottom. And you'll never see this. And once I get it all glued, then I'll go around and I'll, I'll cut off some of the excess fabric. And now her little body shape is pretty much done. Now I think she ended up looking so vintage. And what I'm going to do is there's so many ways now that I can dress her up and have fun with her. I think in each video through the holidays, I'm going to feature her in every video, but I'm going to style her in different ways just to give y'all some more ideas and inspiration on how beautiful she can be. Every Christmas, baby, reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the present, making sure you've been behaving okay. The next project is going to be a little storage box that I found at Goodwill, and it has this beautiful fruit print on the front. And I love the little crackle finish on the box, so I'm going to try to work around that and leave that because 
I love that and I cannot re recreate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fine sandpaper and I'm just going to go over this fruit and I'm going to sand down as much of that painted fruit as I can. Now when I got done, this is what I've got left. <laughs> so I'm thinking, what can I do? So let's apply some transfers. Now this is when you can get really creative and when transfers really come in handy. Because if you've got something that you really kind of want to cover up, transfers are a great layering tool. And that's what I'm going to do on this. I'm going to apply this beautiful wreath. And I will um, link the book that this come out of. This was the IOD 2023 holiday release. I think all of this is pretty much sold out. But I, st I will still let you know what book this was in. Now, I needed something to go in the center because you can still kind of see some of that dark paint up underneath. Now, this is another transfer, and I'll link it below because this right here is still available. But I'm just going to take a little bit of this writing from this transfer, put this in the center. Because basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking things that I already have on hand. I'm taking pieces of transfers that I have, and I'm just applying them to the top of my box. And I'm having fun layering and just kind of covering up, you know, the top of the box. Now, I needed a little bit more greenery on the side because I still had one area of paint that you could see. So, I'm going to take this little bit of greenery that really matched the color scheme and the wreath, and I just cut it off of that other little transfer piece, and I applied it to the side. Now, we've got a beautiful box that we can put little things in and in store for the Christmas and the holiday season. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the press, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat, putting on the show for everybody to give them a smile. Okay, y'all, this next DIY is probably one of my favorites. Did y'all know that you can bleach out and change the color of your bottle brush trays? Yes, you can. I wanted to try this so much, so I did. I took two bottle brush trays that I had that I did not like the colors of. This one is a gray, and I think I got this either at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. But take your bottle brush trays, and what you want to do is take them outside Get a container that is large enough to put them in, and you want to soak them in bleach. Now, this only takes just a few minutes. Now, you can see the one on the right, the little green one, he's not going to work. So, if you have a tree that's like that, that, that type to me was not a success. But the other one that had more of like more of a soft type um, bristles on it, it worked great. But y'all look, it went from gray to now, it, it is, has now more of a bleached out neutral color. Y'all, this did not even take 15 minutes. As soon as that bleach, you know, it reacted to that bleach, it just, in, it just in a matter of minutes, it started to turn. So I just took some pliers and very carefully, I lifted it out of the bleach, I left it out on a towel, and I left it out on a sunny day to let it air dry. Now, I took the bleach that I had in the container, I took it inside, and I poured it down the bathtub to dispose of it. Now, the one on the left is the one that I just bleached that was gray. So, y'all, this is a great hack. If you have some bottle brush trees and you want to change the color of them, bleach, bleach them out, and they will turn out absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to do some more of these. Now I'm going to take another item that I've had, and this was a DIY project in a previous video, and I just painted a tray that I got at the thrift store, and I put a stencil on it. I just painted over it with a couple layers of chalk paint. Now I've got a refreshed piece that I can decorate 
for the winter and the Christmas season. I'm going to take another one of those wreath uh, transfers and I'm going to add another transfer that's got some Christmas wording on it and I'm going to add that. But I decided, I decided once I got my wreath applied to the uh, tray. I did not need the wording, so I'm going to save that for another project, but I did want to include it in case you did want to add just another element to it. You definitely could. So now I just took a tray that I had that I got tired of and I refreshed it and now I've got something that I can set out now for Christmas in the winter season. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing. There's a very inexpensive project and this is something that I find out at thrift stores and yard sales a lot of times it's little wooden little square boxes and I think these are like tele floral there's probably a floral arrangement that came in this and somebody just discarded it you know discarded the flowers and had the little box left and they put it in their yard sale for 50 cents well I couldn't pass it up but I did paint it white and it was pretty gold, but I wanted to do, you know, more of a white theme. So I'm going to add another beautiful transfer on the front of it. And I'm just showing you how easy it is to take little inexpensive items that you may have got at the thrift store or yard sale, apply a graphic to them, and they make beautiful decor pieces for the holiday season. Now I'm going to take a little piece of sandpaper, go around the edge, just give it a little bit of a distressed look. And I love this little peppermint um, candy cane. A graphic on the front of it now. I'm just going to add some greenery and some peppermint sticks to it and this turned out so pretty. Another item that I can never pass up when I find them at yard sales and thrift stores is little sleighs or sleds. I'm not sure what the difference is, so y'all leave me a comment down below. But I paid $3.99 for this one at Goodwill. You can see it's got like a really pretty bright painted flower on it. Well, I'm going to try to tone that down. So I'm just going to use a piece of sandpaper, sand over it, and then I'm going to apply a couple of coats of some white linen chalk paint. Once I got the whole little sled, I got it painted. Now I'm going to show y'all how you can add a really inexpensive graphic to your project pieces. And this is one of my favorite ways to add a graphic. You just tape a piece of tissue paper onto a piece of printer paper, put it in your printer, and print your graphic, and it will come out on your tissue paper. To keep your ink from bleeding, you can always spray over it with hairspray and that will avoid your, your ink to bleed. Now just let your hairspray dry, then I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to cut out as much of the tissue paper as I can. But if you have a white background and you have white tissue paper, a lot of times you're not going to be able to see that tissue paper. But this is such an inexpensive way to be able to add any kind of graphic that you want to your projects and I downloaded this graphic from the Graphics Fairy and you can they have a lot of graphics that are free and you can also resize them so you can customize them to fit your projects. Using some DIY liquid patina I'm just going to apply it in sections and I'm going to apply it to the little sled and once I do I'm going to go over it then with my brayer very gently. You just want to roll over your tissue paper not a lot don't overwork it but just go over it very very gently smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles and then I went around with a baby wipe and just kind of wiped away any excess of that decoupage medium. I let it dry. Now look how beautiful this little sled is. I absolutely love this. Now I went back and forth on what I wanted to make the little handle if I wanted to put the little um, 
twine back in it but I thought this just screamed fur <laughs> so I found this little piece of fur I think I got this at Hobby Lobby last year I had this in my stash so I just kind of drilled out those holes just to make them a little bit bigger with a pair of um, pliers and then I'm just going to feed it back through and I'm going to tie a knot and that way it won't come out the other end so just tie it in a knot and once I get it tied in a knot just so it don't look like a big fur ball I'm going to go around with my scissors and I'm just going to trim up um, I'm going to trim it up really good and once I got it trimmed up then I'm just going to go over to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing now I just kind of, um, once I got over to the other side, I wanted to decide, you know, how long I wanted this. And once I did, I just did the same thing. I drilled out the hole a little bit more so I could get my, my fur through it, tied in a knot, and then just go through with your scissors and just trim it up. And I think this little fur handle was the perfect addition to this cute little sled. When something happens, when something happens, when happens, Now I'm going to show y'all something I saw at Walmart and I thought, you know, I'm going to try to make that myself. They're $6.88 at Walmart. That's not a bad price, but it just gave me some ideas and inspiration of how I can go home and create something of my own. So on my weekly trip to Goodwill, I found this little piece right here and I thought, you know what? This will be perfect because I want something that's long because, you know, little nutcrackers, they're skinny and long. I'm going to paint over the piece using Drop Cloth by Dixie Belle. So if you're looking for a beautiful neutral color, the drop cloth, drop cloth color is so pretty. I'm going to give it a couple of coats, and then after it dried, I'm going to show y'all a cute little nutcracker. I bought these from a little Etsy store, and I will link it down below. But you get a couple of different nutcrackers and another little Christmas scene. So you get three graphics, and they're very inexpensive. You can also go out probably and get a free download for a nutcracker if you would rather go that route. But I just applied him using the tissue um, paper method. I just put a little piece of tissue paper on a piece of printer paper, and I printed him out like that. Now I'm just going to apply him to this little this little project piece right here using my DIY liquid patina. I work in sections and then I'll go over and roll him out very gently with a brayer. Now I forgot to spray my hairspray on this, but I think the hairspray definitely makes a huge difference. So try not to forget that step. Now I just go around the edges using a piece of sandpaper and just dress it. Now we've got a cute little nutcracker. Um, piece that we can set out as a cute little piece for our tear trays or just as a little shelf sitter. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. Okay, raise your hand if y'all love these little hollowed out book boxes. Anytime I find these, I have to pick them up. And I found this one at Goodwill. It was $3. It's got a floral floral print all the way around it. So I'm going to take it outside and I'm just going to go over it with some um, Rust-Oleum. This is my new favorite color. It's called Sand Dollar. It's a really pretty neutral color. It looks a lot like that drop cloth, except it's a spray paint. So I gave it a couple layers. I covered up all those florals. Now, nothing to me screams Christmas more than, you know, or the winter season than some gold. And I love chandeliers. Now, this is a beautiful piece of decoupage paper that I have ordered a while back. And I'll leave a link below to a beautiful um, 
website that has some gorgeous decoupage paper and it's very inexpensive but they are they have some of my favorite uh, decoupage papers for little projects like this so i'm just going to apply it to the top of my book box and these book boxes like this you could always customize these you could put gifts in these around the holidays and give them as you know gift boxes or you could just make these put these up under your christmas tree just to add a little bit more you know of an elegant flair now i applied it using my diy look of vatina i'm going to go over it roll over it with my brayer and now i'm going to let it dry and now i think this decoupage paper fit perfect on this box now i want to add some pretty ties to the front of the box so using some hot glue i just got some beautiful like gold ribbon and i think i got this ribbon at a yard sale i got two rolls of it so just applying some hot glue right in the center of the top and the bottom of the box i just applied these ribbons and now i can tie a beautiful bow so now we got a beautiful box that we can give as a gift or we can store some some name tags or some gift wrapping supplies in it during the holiday season May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I know This Christmas I only want to be close to you In last week's video, I showed y'all the cotton fields and how they were ready to be harvested. Well, they came this week and the farmers harvested the cotton and it's all bailed up. So I wanted to show y'all this. This is what it looks like here in the fall and seeing the farmers out in the fields baling the cotton is just a wonderful sight. So now all that cotton that is just a couple minutes down the road from me will be sent now to the cotton gin and it'll be made into some cozy blankets and t-shirts and all kinds of good stuff that we love. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today and if you did please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to leave me a comment because I love talking to y'all and getting to meet y'all. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my content. Make sure to go over and check out my new channel, Teresa Green. We have a waterfront condo that we are currently fixing up and I'm decorating it. So I'm putting out new videos every Monday. So make sure to go over and check it out and subscribe to it also. As always, I love y'all and I hope y'all have a great week and I will plan to see y'all next week in my new video. Bye y'all.